Okay, so now we look at uh, an example on how we use the Kirchhoff uh, second law, how we construct a Kirchhoff second law equation uh, if you are given a circuit. So let's start here. We have a battery in this uh, circuit and if we have a resistor R1, R2 and R3. So first of all, when you see uh, this kind of thing, uh, I mean in circuit, uh, to solve it using the Kirchhoff second law, you need to first decide the direction that you want. Okay, so in this case, of course, the easiest one is the clockwise. So in some other cases, uh, you might face a situation where you uh, you use uh, clockwise or, or anti-clockwise uh, would give you an ease when you want to solve the problem. Okay, so that's why deciding is very important. Then we have to uh, write out the equation now and on the left hand side first of all on the left hand side we're going to write about the uh, batteries emf so in this case it's very simple we have a positive 45 because uh, the current is actually coming out from the positive okay so remember this rule uh, when you want to apply on a more complicated circuit uh, that's very useful and then if it is direction coming direction of the uh, current coming out from the uh, negative then we choose e as negative value so direction here uh, means that direction that you have chosen okay direction that you have chosen or uh, then uh, you follow this rule okay and on the right hand side we have the uh, potential difference okay potential difference that is uh, current times the resistance Okay, current times the resistance. Usually you won't be given the PD uh, because you want to find the current or some of the resistance of the resistor. Okay, so first of all, we have uh, I times 5K. So I times 5K, this first one here, the current times the 5K is positive because the current is same as our assumption direction. So the assumption direction is like that. The current given is also like that. So that's the same direction. Therefore, uh, we write positive. Okay. If we have choose a clockwise, anti-clockwise direction just now, then uh, the values here will be all negative. So so do the ten kilo ohm and the seven point five kilo ohm of the resistor. We all, we have all the positive values because it's the same as our assumption. So therefore, we have forty five equals to I times all the resistance there. So of course, when you use the uh, Ohm's law to solve this uh, circuit, you will get the same answer because it's rather simple. It's just a single loop. All right, now let's move on to uh, next example where we have uh, two loops here. Okay, two loops here. So, like I said earlier, you cannot solve this uh, with a simple, simple uh, equation of the Ohm's law. Okay, so we're going to apply uh, the two Kirchhoff law. First of all, Kirchhoff first law. And we pick a junction, let's say we pick a junction here, we can see that uh, current I1 going in and current I3 going in and therefore it come out as an I2. So we write I1 plus I3 equals I2. Okay, so if you need more time to understand, then you just pause the video, yeah? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. So uh, second law, we, we choose uh, the direction that we want for the loop of AB, uh, AFCBA, AFCBA, so we choose a direction uh, that is anti-clockwise and then we start to form the equation so we have the 24 as the emf on the right on the left hand side and according to our direction is coming out from the positive therefore it's positive 24 okay and then we search for other batteries along the loop and there's no others as you go along across the af c b a okay therefore we move on to the left hand side at the right hand side to write down the uh, potential difference so as you trace along the uh, line when you meet a resistance then you have to find the pd of it so pd for 4 ohm is i2 times 4 so i2 basically flow from here all the way to c okay i2 that's the rows of i2 and i1 is uh C to B, then to A, then to F. Okay, so these are I ones. All right. So uh, I, whereas for I three, is C D E F. Okay, before it 
uh, break out into a junction it will all belong to it so that's all the i3 because there's no junction in between here so starting from c to d to e then to f that will be the i3 okay so this one you have to understand yeah so go back to the uh, 4 ohm pd just now so it's i2 times 4 ohm so we have i2 times 4 ohm uh, same direction as the current given in the circuit our assumed direction is the same as the circuit yeah okay and therefore uh, the next one as we trace along uh, to C then to to B then there's no other resistor on the way but when we go back to the battery here we have the 2 ohm 2 ohm of the internal resistance so we have to uh, multiply the I1 with the 2 ohm because I1 is the one that passing through the battery so I1 times 2 and it's the same direction as our assumption so we have positive okay so that's the first uh, equation all right so uh, after simplify you get this then the second one we will choose another loop because uh, we want to solve the problem we need another equation the problem is to find i1 i2 and i3 yeah? okay so the second one uh, let me erase some of the things here very complicated okay so the second one that we are going to look at is the loop of c d e f c c d E F C. So this is the loop that we are looking at. We are not talking about the twenty-four volt there. Yeah? Okay. So first of all, we pick a direction. Then the direction that we pick is the clockwise. Okay. So we have pick a clockwise. You just follow me, and we look at the uh, potential dif the EMF first, which is the 24, 27 volt. Okay. According to our assumption, this is coming out from the positive of the twenty-seven volt EMF. So we have a positive values of the 27 and as we trace along to get the PD, I mean uh, to find other cell, we don't get anything, right? So that is, that's the only one. So now let's move on to the right hand side about the potential difference. So let's start again. So the I3, there's nothing here and we have uh, I2 and then we have a 4 ohm here. So of course it's I2 times I4, okay? So I have I2 times I4 and it's positive because it's follow my the direction that I chose is following the same as the current showing here okay so these two they are the same so then we move on and there's nothing else as C and D and when we move back to the battery here we have the 6 ohm okay so 6 ohm as uh, the I3 flow past it so that's the I3 so we have I3 times 6 okay so when uh, you simplify that then we come this all right, so that's uh, how we form the equation uh, using Kirchhoff second law and Kirchhoff first law. And after that, uh, we shall be able to solve it is asked about the current. Okay, so uh, solve the equation. So you can try to find uh, by solving these three simultaneous equations. But most importantly uh, is how you form the equations of Kirchhoff first and second law. Okay, so we're going to look at the next one, next example in the next video.